Welcome back. Now time for our Should I Worry segment, our weekly segment about everything that worries us. This viewer asks, I am a 68-year-old Hispanic woman, and my health has been good until last week that my blood work showed a high potassium level, which shocked me. Should I worry? Uh, is the question, of course, Dr. Samadhi. So first of all, if you could explain what happens to the body if it has too much potassium, and, and how do you even check your potassium levels? Well, the doctor draws the blood, and potassium is responsible for the cell function, especially the muscles and also the heart. So if you have too much potassium, you're going to get something called arrhythmia and heart problems. Uh, but the first thing I would do is I would repeat the potassium under supervision of a cardiology or of medical doctor. Things such as Addison disease, which is adrenal problem or adrenal insufficiency. If you are on diuretics, if you take potassium pills, all of these could be some of the reasons why you would have this. But more importantly, there are some herbs out there that I'm going to put on my Facebook for people to go and see. Those herbs, Tell believe it or like not, what? Like what herbs? Well, there, there, there is milky wood. There is a whole list of them over here, which I will read to you. Um, and, but they need to know about this because... This is important and, and can uh, increase this. Um, so and While you look for that, let me ask Dr. Mark a question, may I? Sure. So while you look for that, because Dr. Mark, something that Dr. Siegel just said that, and there are a lot of people out there who are on diuretics because of high blood pressure. That's the way to release, you know, get rid of the fluid. So the pressure comes down, but then they have to take potassium because it, it, it just drains the body of potassium. So, I mean, it's, it's kind of a, kind of a seesaw way of controlling your body. Uh, again, uh, how do you even know if your potassium is too high and, and what does too much potassium do to the body? I thought you just made a great point, which is that when you have high blood pressure, we tend to use agents that can actually bring your potassium up higher. I want you to understand the kidney is the filter here. The kidney has got to get rid of the potassium in the body. And if the kidney is impaired, then you end up backing up and with too much potassium sure. or if the adrenal gland is impaired, too much potassium. Both of those problems can lead to, as David was mentioning, a heart arrhythmia where your heart can literally stop beating. So I have to check and, and all internists check for potassium. We check for kidney function. And if there's the slightest problem, we'll do an electrocardiogram. And I can look on that electrocardiogram for signs of high potassium. If I find it, I will do something dramatic to get that potassium down. A, a drug called k will get it down quickly. Insulin will work. But, uh, calcium will work. And if necessary, I send the patient to the hospital, which is the first huh. order of priority in an emergency D like that. Dr. Samadhi, you mentioned herbs that can help? Yeah, so for example, Siberian ginseng, which is something that you know, I have never used before, but I found that it can increase your potassium. Or if you have lily of valley, mm -hmm. these are some of the herbs that people can use without knowing that they can interfere with their potassium. Always talk to your doctor about the herbs that you're taking and the list of the medications. Yeah. This could be a life-threatening issue, but repeat your blood test first before you get excited. Quickly, if you do take potassium on a regular basis under doctor's supervision and sometimes you get cramps in your legs, what's that a sign of? That's also interferes with some of the muscle activity and that's a sign that you have to talk to your doctor and lower that. So don't take it on your own or overdoing it. That's dangerous. Okay. Thank well, you. Oh, yeah, I still like bananas. You get potassium <laughs> bananas. Well, if you have any questions for your doctors, yeah, go ahead and you know email, us. email us. Email us. Housecall at foxnews.com, and we may just answer it right here on the air. And by the way, all names and email addresses are kept completely confidential.